Hi friends, Jeff here with Backroads Tourist, and to get you in the mood for Halloween, we're going to revisit three stories from Beyond the Grave. The monuments at Prospect Hill Cemetery have interesting tales to tell, and they're calling on you to listen. Hi friends, thanks for joining me today on Backroads Tourist. I'm Jeff, and I am at Prospect Hill Cemetery in Omaha, Nebraska. It's one of the oldest cemeteries in Nebraska, and there are some stories underneath these stones. I'm going to visit three graves today and tell you some very unusual stories, things that I think that you're going to find very interesting. One story is kind of funny. Another story is both quirky and mysterious. And the third story is incredibly tragic. Prospect Hill is one of Nebraska's oldest cemeteries. It was created in 1856 and many of Omaha's founders are buried here. You'll find the graves of numerous former mayors, senators, and other politicians, as well as bankers, business owners, and others who have had streets, schools, even counties named after them. Cemeteries by nature are sad and solemn places, so Whenever I see a monument or a stone that shows a little bit of whimsy or personality, it's like a breath of fresh air. Let's start off with a somewhat funny story. This is the grave of Anna Wilson and Dan Allen. Dan was a riverboat gambler who wound up in Omaha in the mid 1800s. He opened up a saloon and a gambling establishment and became very well established in Omaha. Anna Wilson was Dan's longtime companion. Now, Anna was also very successful in business. She ran a very popular house of ill repute in Omaha's red light district. In fact, she was often called the queen of the underworld. But don't let that name fool you. Anna was a very charitable woman and longed to be accepted by Omaha's high society. Aside from her brothel, she also invested in real estate. And at the time of her death in 1911 at age 76, she was said to be worth over $1 million. That's equal to over $31 million today. She donated her three-story, 25-room brothel to the city of Omaha to use as a hospital. So here's the funny part of the story. Take a look at Anna and Dan's monument. Now the four posts on the monument represent a four-post bed. Although she was very charitable, she was never accepted into high society because of her profession. She was afraid that after her death, she and Dan would be removed from Prospect Hill Cemetery by <clears throat> so-called respectable individuals. And to make sure this didn't happen, Anna specified in her will that she be buried nine feet deep and have her grave filled with concrete. In other words, if they were gonna dig her up, she was gonna make them work for it. Well, nobody dug up Dan or Anna. They're still resting here together for all eternity. But there is a tradition that you're supposed to do when you visit the grave of Anna and that is to leave a yellow rose. I am a sucker for tradition. Somebody else also left a bottle of Versace perfume here. So I'm gonna leave that right beside the bottle. There. So as we take a short walk to the next grave, a grave that's gonna leave you with more questions than answers, I'd like to invite you to click the like button on this video and please consider subscribing to the Backroads Tourist Channel if you haven't done that already. I visit a lot of offbeat and odd places and with a lot of them, I try to do a little research so I can give you some backstory, kind of like I'm doing here. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy visiting these places as much as I do. New videos are gonna be coming out every Friday. And as I mentioned earlier, beginning next week, it's a month of spooky and paranormal content leading up to Halloween. Have you ever seen those puzzles where they show you a picture and then say, find three things wrong with this picture? Now, this is the monument for Mr. and Mrs. George Moore. Take a look and see if you can find three unusual things on this headstone. Okay, the most obvious is the picture of the dogs. That's George's dog. It's kind of hard to see in this shadow, and it has been kind of chipped away a little bit. But that's Exarbin Little Man, and his wife's champion Pekingese, 
Exarban Sun Yat Sen. By the way, if you're wondering what Exarban means, that's just simply Nebraska spelled backwards. The second unusual thing you may have noticed is that Mrs. Moore's first name is not on the stone. It's simply Mrs. George H. Moore. Now the third strange thing isn't what's carved on the stone, it's what isn't carved on the stone. You'll notice there are no birth or death dates. Now some people think that the Moors aren't buried here at all, but that this is a grave for their beloved dogs. Other people think that both the Moors and their dogs are buried here. Our visits to the graves of Anna Wilson, Dan Allen, and Mr. and Mrs. George Moore were rather lighthearted. Both monuments had a bit of a humorous twist to them. But the third monument I'm going to today, well, there's nothing humorous about this. It's pretty tragic. This memorial is simply known as the Four Boys. Christian Madsen was 19, William Abney was 17, William Malice was 12, and Jack Stitt was 10. You can see their names on each side of the monument, but over the years they've become pretty worn away. On February 28, 1884, the four boys went out rabbit hunting. They were hunting next to a powder magazine in South Omaha. Now, a powder magazine was a building used to store gunpowder and explosives. This building contained between six and seven tons of gunpowder. No one knows why the powder magazine exploded that day, but the blast shook the entire city. Many residents thought that it was an earthquake. The four boys were literally blown to pieces. When searchers would find a body part, in many cases they couldn't tell which boy it belonged to. The remains of the four boys were put into two caskets and laid to rest here at Prospect Hill. The memorial shows four broken columns that represent the broken lives of the four boys. People have broken into the cemetery and vandalized the monument. The columns that were designed to look broken have actually been broken. And an urn that was in the center of the columns has been destroyed. As you can see, many people have paid their respects to the four boys by leaving coins here on the monument. Sadly, this isn't the only act of vandalism here at Prospect Hill. Prospect Hill is an inactive cemetery. No more plots are sold here, so there's no money coming in. Upkeep is provided by volunteers and they're always looking for donations. I'm gonna put a link to the Prospect Hill donation page in the description below. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Jeff and I'll see you on the back road.